Welcome into the Carolina Kitchen. Susie Phillips with the Gypsy Queen Cuisine is here with us. You run a food truck in Asheville. You do all kinds of things, and we are excited to have you. Thank you. Thank you for having me. What are you making today? The aroma here is amazing. It's something a little different than what we're used to. It's all fresh ingredients. It's a Moroccan dish. Um, it's a sauce. It's called shermoula. And it's very similar to chimichurri. Okay. Pesto without nuts. But Moroccan. Interesting. Moroccan. All right. And it's it's lovely because it is such a versatile sauce. It goes well with fish, poultry, meat, um, any kind of seafood. Is really. that just parsley? That's sorry. That's a mixture of parsley and cilantro. Okay. And we are just gonna zoom it with it's a bunch a bunch of each and kind of a handful of garlic. And you can go, this is just the typical basic recipe. You can adjust this to, to whatever flavors you like. And this is just salt and pepper mixture. And you like quite a bit of garlic, it looks like. I this. love oh, garlic. Okay. <laughs> Making sure. I was like, Keeping the vampires, <laughs> girl, away from me. And here we have uh, cumin, uh, Spanish paprika, and a little cayenne, because I do like a little kick in my food, too. Just a little bit, just to kind of balance out the other flavors. So... We also have fresh squeezed lemon juice, and I'm going to go ahead and start zooming this. And I'm I like gonna, it instead of blending, you zoom it. I zoom I it. I like this terminology. Right. It's at, much first, more at first, you want to pulse it down so it kind of breaks down the herbs here. And then I'm going to run it. And we're not making a dressing, so this does not need to emulsify. It's just a sauce. Okay. And what I mean by emulsify. You don't want to see the oil separating from everything else, from the lemon juice. Now, what kind of oil did you put in there, Susie? Extra virgin olive oil. Okay. Because I know sometimes chefs don't like the flavor of the extra virgin olive oil, but you like it for this. I do because it's used as a sauce, just like a, a dressing. So you want that taste, that good olive oil taste or something fruity. You don't have to use olive oil, but definitely a good oil okay. would be nice. Now, in here, it's a lot of herbs. Uh, American cuisine is not used to so much parsley and so much cilantro, all that pow in your, in your mouth. But they have such great medicinal uses. Um, cilantro, back in the day, Egyptians used to use it to pull mercury out of the body. It, uh, lowers, uh, it lowers cholesterol and pulls up bad cholesterol takes away bad cholesterol, right, raises uh, good cholesterol. Interesting. It's good for digestion, nausea, um, and then parsley is an anti-inflammatory, high in vitamin C, K, B12. So you're doing great by putting all of this stuff and in And again, this is all super healthy ingredients. I mean, this is it right here. Super healthy. This is it. And then I put sometimes tomato paste. It depends what kind of, uh, if I'm using fish, I like a little tomato punch. So I just want the viewers to know that they can add a little tomato paste to Okay. This. All right? And that's it. That is it. And there's your sauce. And you can use this on rice, couscous, again, meat, veggies, all of that. All right. And it's a really nice color. And there's the information right there on your screen to get the recipe. Of course, you can go to our website, WLOS.com. Click on Carolina Kitchen link. That's the fastest way. You can send a self-addressed stamped envelope to 110 Technology Drive, Asheville 28803. And check us out on Pinterest. That looks amazing. It does. It has a really pungent, amazing, wonderful smell to it. Nice and strong, and it just seems totally healthy and amazing. Oh, yeah. It's good stuff. <laughs> Susie, thank you so much. Thank you. And that's what's cooking in the Carolina Kitchen.